Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Two, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Look, how to know if you're in a toxic situation that you welcomed your own self into voluntarily due to your past. Let's talk about it. Unfortunately, when you're into a toxic situation, you may have involuntarily welcomed yourself into it. If you have been in toxic, toxic situations or toxic relationships before you've already entered into one, it's probably because of what you've experienced through your past. People who are in toxic relationships may not even be aware that they're in one because they may feel that that's the norm. But there's nothing normal about being in a toxic relationship. If you were around people who may have been gaslighting you, people who may have been uh, causing you to be codependent upon them, then you are more than likely to be in abusive relationships and welcome that involuntarily and not know that that's what you've done. Because there's something that feels normal to a survivor about being in a toxic relationship. So when you're already in one, it's like you're already being abused. And if you're not aware of it, if you're not aware of what you're going through or what the person is doing to you or how you're treating, how you're being treated, you're going to think that this is the norm. You're not going to see anything wrong with what you're already going through. So some people get into relationships and they find out that the person is toxic and they may feel that this is just the way people are. Some people have been programmed early on to think that this is love. So if you have been programmed early on in life to think that this is what love feels like, you're uh, more than likely than average to get into a toxic relationship, unfortunately, all right? You might walk right into it and not know, all right? People who have been mentally abused, people who have been physically abused, people who have been in toxic situations prior to uh, getting into a love life, a relationship, a friendship, this is what they see as normal. This is what they see uh, as the dynamic in a relationship. This is how they see relationships are supposed to go. So when you're with someone and they're mistreating you and they're making you doubt yourself or they're treating you in a way to where a normal person wouldn't take that treatment, you unfortunately aren't a normal person until you heal yourself and until you realize what's been done to you and how to overcome it. So you may be in a relationship where somebody is mistreating you, uh, talking down to you, belittling you, and you may not see anything wrong with that because that's all you know, all right? So you're going to have to watch out and pay attention to certain things because if somebody is mistreating you and you're not aware of it, you're going to stay. And this is going to cause further problems for you, all right? But if you don't know any better, how can you do better? If people are belittling you, if people are making you feel small, and this is all you know, you're going to see this as love. Um, when people are abusing you or mentally abusing you, when you get into certain relationships, you're going to actually seek out. If you don't heal yourself, you're going to seek out these particular types of relationships because this is what you're accustomed to. This is what you're normal to. Uh, this is what's normal to you. This is what feels regular. So you're going to have to work on healing and you're going to have to find out what you need to heal. 
All right. Um, if you have been in a relationship and the person reminds you of someone from your past, that is a telltale sign. Hmm. So-and-so is a lot like this person. Hmm. So-and-so treats me a lot like that person. Hmm. Why does this situation feel like some situations from my past? Unfortunately, if you have become codependent on people from your past, if you were programmed to be codependent on people because they didn't want you to leave them, they didn't want you to outgrow them, uh, they were in competition with you, um, they saw themselves as better than you, uh, they wanted to control you, not um, in a way to where it was beneficial for you or so it would help you, but in a way that was detrimental to towards you and that would damage you. Um, a lot of relationships or friendships or some people who have um, people in their life like this, when they treat you a certain way and you're not aware that you're being treated in a certain way, you're not going to be able to solve the problem and fix the issue. So one thing you're going to have to look out for is, is this person treating me in a way where I would treat them? Is this person treating me in a way to where I'd want to be treated? Am, am, am I in a similar situation that I've been in from my past? All right. Um, you have to heal from past trauma before you go and get into relationships. I don't, uh, I don't make videos about you being alone and taking time to heal for no reason. Um, if you were in a situation early on in your life to where you were codependent upon people, you needed people, um, you needed people for validation, um, you didn't, uh, you didn't, you, you couldn't really do anything without bringing it by someone else. Um, you couldn't make decisions totally for yourself. You didn't feel comfortable making decisions for yourself. Um, you didn't feel comfortable uh, leaving certain people, going out and doing your own thing. You constantly needed the people who you knew weren't treating you the best or um, were belittling you, were uh, talking about you behind your back, um, gaslighting you, things like that. You're actually going to seek out those uh, certain dynamics and relationships when people treat you like that when you get into relationships with them you're not going to see anything wrong with it so you have to watch out for yourself all right sometimes people will treat you in a bad way but sometimes we welcome ourselves into negative situationships and negative relationships because that's all we know so you have to be careful um when you when you when you are a person that is codependent upon other people, it's basically the same thing as someone that is recovering from drugs or alcohol because you are dependent upon people the same way a person is who is addicted to drugs or alcohol, who is uh, dependent upon a substance, all right? Because there's certain chemicals that get released in your brain that you become dependent upon when dealing with certain people, all right? I've said it before in some of my videos, some people actually get addicted to being mistreated because that's all they know throughout their whole life. Some people are actually addicted to people who don't treat them right, people who will treat you wrong, people who will uh, manipulate you, gaslight you, uh, make you feel bad about yourself. Some people actually willingly seek out relationships to where people abuse them because they think that's love. And some people, like it's, it, and another thing you will, and, and when you're not healed, you will uh, shy away and run away from people who are healed and who aren't treating you this way because it's going to feel like something's missing. It's going to feel like this person really doesn't love you when this person actually does love you. That's why certain people who uh, have gotten into certain relationships, people will tell you that you're boring. People will tell you that um, you're dry or something like that. It's because they're used to toxic love. They're used to somebody either abusing them physically, 
or sometimes people are used to people abusing them mentally and people are used to arguing, bickering back and forth. Um, maybe they grew up with parents that were um, real uh, abusive or real toxic or um, real manipulative and without them even knowing it, they're going to be seeking that out in relationships. So if you have had some of those things or experienced some of those things as a child or in your upbringing or around friends or family, you're going to have to heal yourself because if not, you're going to stay hurt and you're going to continue those negative toxic cycles. All right. So you're going to have to break those negative toxic cycles and how you break those negative toxic cycles is by spending some time alone and by figuring out what it is you specifically need to heal, whether you need to heal from gaslighting, whether you need to heal from narcissistic abuse, whether you need to heal from somebody that was real manipulative and that made you doubt yourself, question your reality. Those are things that make a person feel like they're not good enough. So people will seek out relationships that make them feel like that because that's the norm. So if that's something that you went through, you are going to have to make sure that you heal yourself from that. All right. Just like a person who goes to rehab, just like a person who goes to seek help for uh, drug dependency or uh, substance dependency, you are dependent upon people. That's why they call it codependent. All right. And some people are dependent upon people and they don't even know people will go from one relationship where they're dependent upon someone to the next without healing. And that's dangerous. That's dangerous for you. You're leaving yourself open to be used. You're leaving yourself open to be abused. You're leaving yourself open to be manipulated. And these aren't things that are normal. That's not, that's not normal. That's not love. But some people actually think that is love, but it's not. All right. Love does not manipulate. Love does, is not toxic. Love um, does not control you in a way that's negative, a way that will destroy your sense of self, your positive idea about yourself, your positive outlook on life. All right. Um, some of these things will cause people to uh, not trust anyone. All right. So if, if you're not trusting of people and you get into a relationship and you end up getting into a relationship and there's no trust in that relationship, and you don't know any better, you're going to wonder why. You're going to wonder why you don't trust this person. You're going to wonder why um, you feel anxiety, all right? A lot of people who have bad anxiety have PTSD from their past, from their upbringing, from people that they were around, all right, that um, would cause anxiety. Because when, when you get gaslit, when you um, are made to question your reality, um, when you're confused, when you don't know what's real or what's not, when you can't tell if somebody's mistreating you or that's just who, oh, that's just who that person is. No, that's not who that person is. That person decided not to change. That person decided not to work on themselves. That person decided to stay a toxic individual. And unfortunately, because they're too selfish to change or work on themselves, they brought that toxicity into that relationship. And now they're bringing that toxicity to everyone in the house or everyone in the family or their partner or their spouse. And they may not even know that they have to heal. This is why it's important for people to want to self-improve. When you choose self-improvement, you can figure out things about yourself. All right. Um, when something doesn't feel right, when the relationship feels like it's off a little bit, when you feel like you're being mistreated, if somebody makes you feel like you're questioning your reality, you have to check these things. All right. You have to be aware. All right. But you have to know. So if you are a person that doesn't feel comfortable without having someone around a lot, if you're a person who feels like you need someone to feel satisfied, you need someone to get through life, you need someone to feel good about yourself, you could possibly be codependent upon other people. So instead of healing some people, they go from relationship to relationship. And that's a sign that a person is codependent. And 
that's a sign that a person really needs to heal themselves so that way they can have a healthy relationship. As a human being, you need people in your life. You need friends. You need family. You need a significant other, all right? But the thing is, you have to go about that in a healthy way. You can't go about that in a toxic way to where it's not beneficial for you or the other people. So you have to make sure that you're not dependent upon people in a way to where um, you're basically addicted to people, all right? Um, you're going to have to work on that and you're going to have to do some self-work. You're going to have to go within. You're going to have to um, work on your mind because your mind is dependent upon that other person, all right? Your mind is dependent upon those um, chemicals that get released when you get abused or mistreated. And that's no way to allow yourself to be handled by other people, all right? You're going to have to learn how to shift that dynamic in the relationship by not allowing those things, all right? You're not going to want people to mistreat you. That's not a good thing. All right, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to figure out where things started. You're going to have to go to the root so that way you can solve the problem. Where were you originally dependent upon people? All right, where were people trying to manipulate you? Where were people trying to make you feel bad about yourself? You have to start there. You have to start there. When you start there, you can find the root causes and then that will lead you to solve problems that will lead that will lead you to create a better reality for yourself so you're not a a, a, a a sick person because when you are around other people who don't heal a unhealed person is a sick person so you're going to have to heal even if other people don't heal so that way you don't become a sick person you may have to put distance between yourself and other people if they choose not to heal because it's basically like going back into a fire. If you get out of a fire, you don't want to go back in. If you get out of a negative situation, you're not going to want to go back in. So what you're going to have to do is you are going to have to work on yourself. You're going to have to see what makes you dependent. Why are you dependent? Why do you feel you need other people? You feel you need other people because that's how you were programmed. People wanted, people wanted to control you. And they knew that they'd have to treat you a certain way to get that amount of leverage and that amount of power over your mind. And that's not a positive thing because when you get into other, when you get into relationships with other people and you think it's going to be different and you think it's going to change, you'll end up being in a similar type relationship. And one of those uh, a telltale sign of that is I got that word down packed now, y'all. A telltale sign of that is your relationship with your girlfriend if you're a guy or your relationship with your boyfriend or a man if you're a woman you're going to realize that that certain aspects of that relationship are a lot like other people that you've already dealt with in your past whether it be a relationship whether it be friendship whether it be family members whoever it may be teacher from school um people at your job if you see similarities but it's not a positive similarity. It's a toxic similarity. That's a sign that you're still codependent because you're still seeking out that same type of treatment from those same types of toxic people. All right. Normal people don't form toxic relationships. Normal people don't form toxic relationships and it's nothing wrong with not being normal. We're not downing people. We're not um, putting people down. For that, it's just that people need to heal. And if you're not healed, you're going to be a hurt person. And the saying is true, hurt people hurt people, all right? And it's not, sometimes it's not because they want to, sometimes it's because they don't know any better and they think that's love too, all right? So when you have people who don't see anything wrong with the way that they love, with the way that they relationship, with the way that they boyfriend, with the way that they girlfriend, with the way that they friend, with the way that they boss, with the way that they manager, with the way that they coworker, with the way that they family, that is going to create a toxic environment because someone who doesn't think there's anything wrong with them is going to think that they don't need to change.
and we all need to change. There's something that we all need to change. All right. There's something that we all um, have to work on and we should want to work on. You should welcome change. Change is a good thing. Like I always say in my videos, you should welcome change. Change is good. But there are some people who are afraid to change. And if somebody is afraid to change, that means they're afraid of growth. That means they're not welcoming growth into their life. And if you're on a journey to where you're starting to wake up, you're starting to recognize something's not right here. Um, you're starting to see similarities with future, not future, but present um, relationships and with past relationships. That's a sign that that relationship is abusive if um, what you uh, recognize is a toxic pattern. All right. And you're going to have to break those toxic patterns, just like a person like there are people who go to AA, right? Alcoholics Anonymous. There are people who go to AA who are um, addicted to alcohol. And after they get off, some people, they don't have a drink. Some people are actually allowed to have a drink again because they've got their substance issue and their substance abuse over uh, under control. They figured out what the root cause was. The root cause was something that they weren't dealing with. They had some type of uh, psychological issue. They were abused. Uh, they, they had a traumatic event happen. Um, they lost a loved one. Um, they lost their job. They lost everything. Uh, God forbid uh, something bad happened to them. All right? uh, they lost a relative. Uh, they lost a significant other. All right. And instead of, of abusing a substance or not necessarily abusing, but using something to try to cope. All right. Which could cause you to abuse it because it's like you're trying to use that to cover up how you feel. And that's not the right way to heal. And a lot of people who are codependent, they wind up doing that with relationships. They end up uh, just like a, a, a person would use a drink. Uh, they would uh, have a person in their life. And they would use that person, not necessarily saying that they're using them, but they would use the relationship and that person to try to make themselves feel better and cover up their pain. Because it's like, this person treated me bad. You know what? To heck with that. I'm going to go to somebody else who could treat me better. If you haven't healed, even if that person is a good person and that person could treat you better, the person who's not healed is going to end up treating the better person like crap possibly or they might be take they might take them through hell because they're going to be blaming things on this person possibly they could not be healed to the point where they're always bringing up their problems they're always talking about their problems they could possibly fear uh that this person is going to treat them that way and they could always they could be one of those people like you're not going to treat me this way, are you? You're not going to do me like this, are you? And the person's like, after a while, after like 20 days of that, the person's going to be like, no. The first couple of days, they're going to be like, no, I wouldn't do that to you. First week, no, I wouldn't do that to you. Second week, you know, I wouldn't do that to you or, you know, or no, I would never do that. But after a while, the person's going to get tired and that person's going to leave and want to get away from you. And that could cause you more hurt and more pain. That's why you have to heal. Nobody... Uh, that that is not dealing with anything is going to be able to just it's in it's inhumanly possible for somebody to deal with somebody that's not healing because sooner or later that person is gonna like the toxicity is gonna rub off on that person they're gonna see you as like an unstable person unfortunately they're gonna see you as somebody that needs to heal if they can if the person's mind is sound they're gonna be like yo you need some self work you need some help. All right. And, and but the thing is, there are people. And, and, but the thing is, you have to be up front. And this is why it's important to um, be aware of these kinds of things. And that's why it's important for people to uh, make videos like this and put out content like this and spread awareness like this. All right. Because that way people can be aware of what's wrong with them. Because if you're aware of what's wrong with you and you do get into a relationship and you do find somebody that's loving and caring, and that is wants to be there for you regardless, instead of you uh, crazy in them to death or like uh, not to say you're crazy, but you get what I'm saying. Instead of you running, driving this person crazy because you're not aware and they're not aware of what's going on. When you're aware of what is going on with you, you can make the other person aware, too. And that way, if this person so chooses, if they have it in them, they can be there for you. They could help you through it. They could coach you through it. They could. um 
help you be positive through the situation. All right. They, they could possibly be a ray of, of sunshine to you through the situation. And this person could actually uh, end up staying in a relationship with you and you guys could actually end up becoming closer because of that. All right. And that's why it's important to heal. This is why it's important to spread messages like this, because if you if, if you know, then you can make a change. So you have to avoid getting into relationships if you're unhealed, if you're um, if you've dealt with toxicity in your past, manipulative people in your past, um, people who have gaslighted you, people who have treated you um, with abuse because they were narcissistic. These are things that cause trauma in a person, whether they know it or not. These are things that cause anxiety in a person. So if you're depressed, if you have anxiety, if you don't trust people, if you're hypervigilant, you think everybody's going to do you wrong, that is not a good, um, that's not a good dynamic. It's not a good mindset. That's not a good um, personality for a person to get into a relationship because that person has a lot of things they need to fix. And some people, they get into relationships and they think that somebody else is going to heal them and somebody else is going to fix them. And it's not the case. They can assist you with you getting help yourself. They can be there for you. They could uh, tell you everything's going to be all right, but you have to be doing it's like 75% you at that point, if not 85%. And then the rest of the percentage is them just being there for you and being positive because they're not the toxic person that you used to be with or that you, that you know. All right. So this is how you know that you're in a toxic situation that you could possibly have welcomed your own self right into involuntarily due to your past. All right. Past trauma is real. Um, it could be PTSD or complex PTSD, and neither one is good. Um, you're going to have to definitely going to have to work on yourself. And but the thing is, it's fixable. You can heal from this. It's not the end of the world just because you've had some toxic people in your past. It's not the end of the world just because you've dealt with uh, some form of abuse. Uh, you're not um, you're not a terrible person. You're not a bad person. There's nothing wrong with you. You just have to fix the things that are wrong with you. It's nothing wrong with you as a person per se, but you have to fix your mind. So that way you can perceive things correctly. That way you could uh, love again correctly. That way you can friend again correctly. All right. A lot of people go through things like this and they wonder why their job life isn't working out. They wonder why. Um, they have problems with people that they just met. They wonder why they don't like anyone and no one likes them. It's because you have to spend a lot of time healing because of what you've been through from your past, that anxiety, that trauma, all right, that makes you uh, hypervigilant, that makes you not trust people, that makes you think, unfortunately, everybody's out to get you. And you may be the type of person that jumps to conclusion. conclusions. You may... Um, have a fear of people now. All right. That's how people don't end up trusting people. And these are all things that can be fixed. All right. So you have to want to fix yourself. You have to want to take the time to heal. You have to want to become a better person so that way you can have healthy relationships. All right. And you can do it. You really can. All you have to do is believe in yourself and know that it's possible. And that's why videos like this are important to spread awareness for people to become aware of what they need to fix, how they need to heal because of what they've been through so that they don't keep going through it. All right. Because if not, people are going to continue the cycle. And that's that's a bad thing. All right. If you're trying to heal, if you want to make your, your, your life better, if you want to become a better person, if you want to have the relationship of your dreams, all right, if you want to be the man or woman of your dreams to yourself. So that way you could possibly be the man of your dreams or woman of your dreams in life. All right. Just so you could have the life that you want. All right. Just so you can have a positive life, just so you're not moving through life as a toxic person, then you're definitely going to want to seek out help. All right. You're definitely going to want to study up on the things that I've mentioned in this video. All right. You're definitely going to want to become more aware of what you're going through. So that way you could figure out what you're dealing with so that way you can fix yourself and become the person you want to be.
All right. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. All right. Um, a lot was said in this video. You may have to rewind it. You may have to go back and watch this again. I'm going to be dropping more videos on these types of topics and this subject because I feel it's important because what I found out is helping me and I know that it could help some other people. All right. So smash that like button, smash that share button, and don't you forget to subscribe. It's been another Drew Tube special. Shout out to the Chosen Vessels. I'll see you all in the next video. Routine maintenance. Wipe your feet on the way out. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Don't forget to subscribe. We out.